Making a game is easier when you have a recipe. In this video, we are going to improve our level design and create more elaborate platforming puzzles. This video is sponsored by the Platform Essential Recipes ebook. The ebook is currently on pre order, so it's your chance to get it with 20% discount. But hurry up, the pre order ends on December the 1st. Link in the description. This is the first secret recipe in the ebook. As you explore the ebook, you will find some hidden content. So, I will use the Godot Asset Library to import the Path Follow Platform recipe. This recipe builds up on the Moving Platform one, improving it by adding the ability to fine tune the movement pattern. For that, it relies on Godot Path Follow system, where we can draw paths with the path to denote and use the path follow to denote to move it along the path. We can use some recipes as templates for our games. For instance, I will delete this default platform and will instance the one that we are using in this project. Then, I will save this in our project's objects folder so we keep the recipe in place while having our project's own custom version. With the path form platform in place, we can start the fun part. To use this recipe, we need to add a path to the in our level and then instance the path follow platform to the as this child. Then, we can draw the movement path we want the platform to make. With this approach, we can use the path follow progress ratio property to make the platform move along the path. A value of 0 means the beginning of the path, while a value of 1 represents the end of the path. So, this is what we are going to animate instead of the platform position. In God of War, we have a new option when we want looping animations. You already know the simple loop, where the last keyframe interpolates its value to the first one. This is useful to create animations that wrap its value. For instance, in this one, I want the progress ratio to go straight from 0, when it reaches the end, to 1, so it loops perfectly. But now, on top of that, we also have the option to make ping pong loops. In this mode, the animations play backwards when it hits the end. This is especially interesting, especially in this case, if you want to draw an open-shaped path, like a zigzag line or even a straight line. With this in place, it's just a matter of duplicating them to create new moving platforms. We can draw new movement paths by making the path to the path resource unique and then drawing the new path that we want. It's also possible to play with the platform speed by changing the animation player playback speed property. This was made using a recipe from the Platform Essentials cookbook. Get your copy with 20% discount before December the 1st. Ready to make your dream game? Click the link in the description. In this video, we added one of the core mechanics for a platforming game, moving platforms. But the whole game world is still too safe for players, right? In the next video, we are going to introduce harmful obstacles to create negative incentives for some players' actions. This next recipe introduced a minimal conflict system, you can also call it a combat system, as we are going to use hit and hurt boxes. That's it, thank you so much for watching, keep developing and until the next time.